Um, okay, let's switch the skips. We'll switch it to like a, a mountain climber. Okay. Should be a little bit less power on the calf. It should be okay. Okay. All right. I don't think David's joining, so oh, I don't need to share. Let's bum, bum, bum. Oh, I don't even need to spotlight myself because it's just you. <laughs> uh, let's start with a one minute squat bottom. All right, I'll put a timer on over here. And we sit, oh, and we sit down. Someone locked me off, hold on. There we go, okay. Move the chair too. All right, bottom of the squat, let's hang out. There we go. It's actually been pretty quiet on Zoom. I feel like the middle of the day classes are super quiet. I wish if it was a 9.30 a.m., I would be there. Yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, the 9 a.m. only had three people. The busiest class is honestly 5.30. Yeah. Okay. I don't understand it. <laughs> There's no, usually like eight to 11 people on at 5.30 in the morning. Oh. I know. Yeah, like, no, that's everyone that's busy still. It did start right at nine, so I would miss like part of the warm up and stuff. And yeah, yeah, that's like a uh, Laura from Aurora always jumps on it like nine fifteen because she still has to drop her son off at school oh. in like a separate program. Um, so she always like rushes home and jumps on lights. Yeah. All right, let's stand it up. Oh, let's go lay down. We're gonna go into room complex, so we'll do it together. Legs are straight, let's walk down into a plank. From this plank, we're gonna go five scout push-ups, so squeeze the shoulder blades, push up against the floor. From those five scout push-ups, lower, and then come up in a cobra stretch. Yeah, good, pulling the shoulder blades back. We're gonna send the hips up in the air, push your nose towards your knees, heels towards the ground for a little bit of pressure in that calf, and then walk it all the way in, stand it up. We're gonna do that two more times. The full complex. Hey. I thought you were coming. Hey, David. No, B, sorry I'm late. I was just leading a webinar, so I'm getting ready. That's okay, you can jump right in. It's just Jen and I, so no biggie. Cool. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Long time no see. Has been, except I wrecked my other shoulder. Oh yeah, so are you able to put pressure on it? Not much. I did a one arm plank yesterday. That was fun. Okay. Good news. Yeah, it, it's mostly light, so I think you'll be okay. <laughs> that's okay. Just do being active and doing stuff. That's fine. Yeah. 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 Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Yeah. It's going to need surgery probably. Oh, uh, yeah. do you know, what, what's the actual diagnosis? Sup a a to almost totally torn supraspinatus tendon. Cool. Yeah, awesome. So can you lift it? What? Can you lift it or you just can't put pressure? That's, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's, my mom, uh, my mom has the same injury, but hers is like, she just had surgery on it and it's pretty permanent. Yeah. I think she can get, she can get to her head now. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's like jumping jacks. Yeah, you get to do the down ones. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's keep the warm up going. We'll just go from here, David, because Jen just finished those inch worms. We're just gonna go 10 air squats, guys. Drop below parallel, come back up to the top, 10 reps. Perfect. Nice one. Oh, I forgot to say it. Hi, Jen. <laughs> All right, from those 10 air squats, guys, we're gonna drop down as low as we can into a squat bottom. You're gonna put one hand down to the floor, other hand's gonna come back behind you and eyes are gonna be on that top hand. And then down, 
Other side. David, don't worry about the hand. Reach more with the elbow. Yeah. Just so we're rotating through that spine, opening the chest to the back. Five per yeah. side, 10 total, guys. Lovely. Yeah, good. I had to change which room I uh, teach this class in today because it's so, it's so sunny outside. <laughs> yeah. It's like the darker part of my house. <laughs> All right, we're going to go Kang squat, guys. So feet underneath the hips with like a slight foot turnout. We're going to go bend into those knees. You're going to send your hips back into a hinge and then drop down into a squat bottom, pulling the chest up. Then the hips are gonna come up and the back's gonna follow through. We're gonna do that 10 times. Go back into a hinge and then push the knees forward to end up in a squat bottom. Butt comes up, back follows through. 10 reps. Uh, all right guys nice we're gonna go over the three movements in your strength today david what's your equipment situation like over there zero kyle's got all the equipment because i can't really lift yeah. anything yeah that's okay so we'll just do you'll do the workout without weight and it'll still be totally fine uh, here's what we're going to do. So, Jen, your version of the split stance is going to be with that barbell. David, you're going to do no weight, and it'll still hit your hamstrings. But what it's going to look like, or even if, David, do you have your backpack? Do I have a back backpack? Yeah. Yeah. Does it, yeah, grab your backpack. Put some, like, things in it. We're not throwing okay. it, don't worry. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> Backpack works. <laughs> My assistant coach does not make it very far away from me. Mine neither. <laughs> yeah. Mine like, is right. Mine is sit laying here watching every movement I make. Yeah, I had to move his bed's not usually there, but I had to yeah. move it since I started teaching because he always took my yoga mat. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going to happen when the kids are gone. Like, this dog has had people home for over a year now, you know? Like, no, he just stares into my soul all day. And like, he knows after the noon class that we go for a golf course walk every day. <laughs> like, I don't know how he's ever going to oh, not yeah. have me home all the time. I feel like I'm going Perfect. to school. You don't have to wear it. We're going to use it differently, but I'll show you how. So, Jen, All right. here's what the split stance deadlift looks like from hips down, because it's going to look different. You're going to stand with one foot forward, and the other foot's going to just kick stand behind. So let me turn on a little bit of an angle. It's not far behind. It's like a little bit behind that front heel, but most of your weight should be in that planted front foot. Making sure the hips are square, we're going to set a slight bend in both knees. And then you're going to hinge the hips back in that deadlift position as far as you can, and then drive back up to the top again, squeezing the butt. All right. So we're just going to reach the hips back. This is a Romanian deadlift. And then we pull back forward. Jen, you're going to do double hand barbell against the legs as low as you can go down in that hinge, drive back up to the top again. David, you're going to go like loop the handles of your backpack around one hand, and then you're just going to lower the backpack and then up to the top again. Okay. I think I, I, I okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna just look like this. Make sure it stays close to the body and then drive back up to the top again. Yeah. Okay. That's good. We can do a whole workout with backpacks. So yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah, it works. So yeah. make your position notes here, guys, is making sure we're not reaching with the back 
or sending our weight forward. Just think about reaching your butt back behind you, keeping the back flat and driving back up to the top. You should feel it in that hamstring and then into that front and uh, front glute. Oh, yes. So that's movement number one. Movement number two is no weight. You're gonna go for a Cossack squat. There's two ways you can do this, but no matter what, wide stance. Easier option is you're gonna send your weight to one side as low as you can reach that butt back, come back up, other side, back and forth. Harder version is you're gonna send the weight to one side, you're gonna stay low and transfer to the other side, back and forth. So whichever one you're more comfortable with, whichever your hips allow, I'm happy with. Cool. So that's movement number two. Movement number three is going to be that plank pull through. So Jen, you're going to do this one. David, you're not going to do this one. Jen, you're going to go for a plank. Dumbbell is or plate is on the outside. And you're just going to go under, grab on, slide across, back and forth. So make sure it's to the side. Yeah. And then pull. There you go. And then other hand. Yeah, perfect. And then David, this one, you're going to do a bent over row with that backpack instead. So you're going to tip over, row one side, right. and row the other side. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, that's an okay position for you, right? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. No okay. So that's our strength, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a timer and we're going to do three and a half minutes a set to get through all the movements and I'll show the workout to you once I get this timer set up. And we're just going to do four sets through. Right. Jen, are those your dumbbells? Like old school, yeah. <laughs> I bought dumbbells back in November. I had like was looking for them since last March and I finally found a pair and I made a friend go all the way to Barry to pick them up for me because <laughs> they only had one set. And it They're was so expensive right now. So expensive, but it was like the best purchase I've made. I made in 2020. Yeah, like, I have carpet, so the plate doesn't move so nicely. It doesn't slide so well. Yeah, so I'll use that. That's yeah, you can also pick it up a little, as long as it's like under and over. Uh, so here's what we're going to do, guys. We are going to do four sets, three minutes a set. We're going to do eight to 12 reps of that split stance deadlift aside. Uh, eight to 12, just because if the weight's a little bit heavier, do eight. If it's light, do 12. Then you have five per side of your no weight Kha'Zix squat and five per side of your plank pull through or David that bent over row. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. All right. It's going to stay starting session, but it actually means 10 seconds. Starting session. All right. Here we go. Guys. The hand with the front foot that's frontward on the first one. Whatever leg is back is the arm that's going to hold the weight. Work. Right. So you're almost replacing it is the way to look at yeah. it. And it's, is it full upper body movement? No upper body. No, no. So don't do the row yet. Just do the deadlift. Okay, right. You're just That's pulling just up. Right. Jen, pop your back heel off the ground. Yeah, there you go. And keep it off. Oh, wait. Back heel off the ground or front heel? Back heel off the ground. So think like single leg deadlift, but we're adding that like kickstand in. Right. Okay, guys, we should feel it in the hamstrings and through the glutes. As you drive up, squeeze your glutes. Okay, turn sideways, David, so I can see it a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. That makes yeah. it easier. Yes. Yes, that's perfect. Thanks, guys. 
How many are those? Uh, eight to 12 aside. Per aside, right. Nice. Good, Jen, keep that chest tall. Good, and then David, you've got five per side Kha'Zix squats with no weight. All right. Nice dance. Yeah, good. Nice, Jen. Really try to hold the core tight and not sway the hips. Yeah. Nice, David. Good. And then, David, you've got your five per side bent over rows. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go steal the, uh, I always steal cans from the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. You can really add those up. Except my youngest son, Logan, went through the kitchen and threw everything out. Oh, no. <laughs> Including the fondue forks. He doesn't know what those are. So he just said, get rid of them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Oh. Work. That's OK, David. Keep going. Yeah. You only have to do five aside on these bent over rows. Take a second to pause at that top position though, because you'll get a little more out of it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. All right. Now these. Okay, guys. Nice. Jen, get like a little bit more of a bend in that front leg. Yes. Good. Jen, don't step out every time. Just keep the wide stance and just shift your weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. You were doing your own. You were just doing side lunges. That's fine. <laughs> just making my own stuff. <laughs> well, in your head, you were just like, this seems easier. <laughs> I want to do this version. <laughs> I did it right the first round. I don't know. No, I know. Your body was just like, this looks like it makes more sense. <laughs> nice. We've got 30 seconds till the third round. How's work, David? Great. Yeah, it's great. But, but uh, there's so many people being exited from companies. Our accounts are full. Cool. I heard a lot of companies are ditching their like upper uh, yeah. high end teams. Huge. Yeah, it's we're so busy. We're hiring people to help with the transition. Crazy. Work. Executive yeah. coaching is going through the roof because people are 
trying to adjust. So it's, it's good, but it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it, it work crazy. Crazy. I'm, I'm tired of zoom. Not today. This is great. You're awesome. <laughs> this zoom. is fun. Zoom. We can do this kind of zoom. Yeah. This side of zoom is fine. How's life as a Zoom instructor? <laughs> it's interesting. It's definitely a lot slower, but I've gotten a lot of house projects done, which is okay. I don't mind Zoom. It's not like, it's not the same, but it's better than nothing. You're right. I find with classes, I'm getting more to it you know, this week, which, you know, I've been active, but not, not where I should be. Yeah. Well, it's when you pick your own workouts that you don't quite do what you probably need to be doing. Uh-huh. Well, that's but why I signed I up. build the workouts, so I get to pick what everyone does. <laughs> like, this is what I want to do, so everyone gets to do it now. <laughs> yeah, good. Jen, how's work for you? Are you guys in your slower month at least? Yeah. Yeah. But it's also year end for me, so I'm busy. Yeah, if you're busy, the actual <laughs> grouping isn't going on. <laughs> We've got one more set, guys. Oh, I thought it was three. Four times, three minutes around. Work. Work. Yeah, my clock is a little aggressive, but. <laughs> you don't own a bird or what? Pardon me? You own a bird? Own a what? A bird? It's not like a bird call. <laughs> no, I wish. That'd be a lot cooler. If I just like train yeah, my parents, I'm going to go. <laughs> but they live, they live for like 30 years. No, thanks. <laughs> I had pet finches growing up, but. You realize after a while, they're not as cool. They don't do tricks. Got a dog instead, but he still ignores me. Stares at me, but ignores me. <laughs> nice, guys. Looks really good. Nice, Jen. Yeah, David, nice pause. It seems dumb to get my shoulder feeling better 
to have surgery to make it better, but it'll yeah, get it'll worse. Be, it'll be an aggressive recovery too. Yeah. Oof. When did you have, like, do you have your surgery booked or? Well, no, there's still not, but the ultrasound guy said it's almost t totally torn right there. And it's, yeah. and I just know I can't, like, I just have nothing. Yeah. No, no outward push, nothing. Yeah, it's going to take, ooh, it's, that's not fun. Yeah, I could do an open. I've been, trust me, you can see everything on the, I've seen the operation on the internet. So yeah, <laughs> they do an open or a scope. Dr. Ogilvy Harris is actually up here and he does scopes where most people do opens. So I don't know which one my mom did, but she's had two. She had one surgery on one shoulder and another surgery on the other, but it, hers was the same. It was like almost completely like hanging on, like disconnected. Yeah. Yeah, and that's just as bad as totally foreign. I think they might. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Levers and bones. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, we're going to take a three minute break and then go into that 16 minute AMRAP. Uh, here's what it's going to look like you have 15 deadlifts. David, you're just going to do a sumo deadlift with that backpack. If you want to add okay. weight to it, you can. Yeah. Uh, Jen, you can do it with your barbell with the 65 pounds. Then you've got either 15 box jumps, 15 step ups, or 15 forward lunges. Okay. Yep. Happy with either of those. 20 alternating knee tucks. Let me just show you what those look like. So you're going to lay down on the ground and you're almost going to do a sit up, but also pull one knee into the chest at the same time. Out other side back and forth. If it's a little too aggressive, just do a regular sit up. And then that last movement is going to be either 40 double unders or 40 lateral hops or 40 air squats. <laughs> okay. Whichever our bodies are feeling. Legs for David, you'll like this. I follow a lot of employee wellness, like uh, blogs and news yeah. reports, but they always have the most obvious uh, titles to their news articles. This is the one I just got and pandemic exacts a toll on employees' mental health. <laughs> <laughs> like really, tell us more. I see it every day. Most like my trans transition clients aren't as busy because they don't have jobs. Yeah. The coaching clients are senior executives who are trying to cope with a company. And at the same time, their kids are all over the house. Their partners are bugging them. Grandma's in the picture. There's dogs. There's yeah. like. I have a friend that works for, um, oh, what's that big building company called? She's in HR for them. And she has like two kids that are under the age of five at home. And she's like, I can't work during the day. <laughs> I work when the kids go to bed. And they're stressed like crazy. And, and the, like, I've seen great employers where I go, I don't see, I don't see you're not above the line in terms of coping and I'm not being mean, but I don't want you to. Yeah. Complain. Yeah. Jen, on your jump up, don't jump down, step down. Okay. Hey, yeah. I'm going on to my second step. Okay. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good height. Just don't jump down because it's a lot more pressure on the Achilles. Okay. Jen's got two kids at home doing it's online learning. And, and you know, women are taking the brunt. 
Oh yeah. There's oh, guys yeah. Can, the, the guys can check out and the women, the kids don't even know they're gone. I'm glad a man is saying this. <laughs> Because my husband, I know he work, he works like 6 a.m. to and he doesn't get home till six most nights. But I'm like, you get time by yourself in your drive. You get to eat your lunch by yourself. Like <laughs> I am with you. Like you I'm like, I will take a 12 hour shift if I can get away from the house. Like yeah. <laughs> it's, work is a break. You can't but my my uh, daughter-in-law can't even go to the bathroom by herself she's holding a kid and Isle is at her knee like all right yeah it's hard uh all right guys 16 minute amrap 15 deadlifts 15 box jumps step ups or lunges 20 alternating knee tucks or sit-ups 40 double unders lateral hops or air squats questions comments concerns all right Let's do it. Starting in 10 seconds. What's the deadlift? Is it? Oh, shit. That's heavy. Fuck. <laughs> Oops. Sumo style. So remember I taught you that wide stance one? Oh, right. Right. Yeah. All right. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Go. Okay. And just make sure, David, it's more of a hinge than a squat. So butt goes back and we tip. Okay. Right. Yeah, there you go. Good. Because okay. if you do squats now and you do squats after, it's not going to feel good. <laughs> it's a lot of squats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sumo. Right. It's a little bit easier on your yeah. back. Really try to push the knees out over the shins. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There it is. Nice, Jen, and then just remember to switch which leg steps down. Too much to think of. I'm so bossy, even at home. <laughs> I love it when the kids joined, there was kids on the Zoom call yesterday. Oh yeah, like kids, with, with kids teenagers. Yeah, no, like little kids, like five-year-olds doing it in the background, right? Yeah, we've had a couple of kids that join with their parents. We have, I think we have two or three teenagers right now that do the 6.30 oh, yeah. a.m. class. Yeah. Before they jump on for school. And they do it like almost every day too. It's impressive. But there's like, I think Carter, Carter and joins. There's a little girl that joins. Yeah, it's cute. They're into it. They need something to do. Yep. Okay. Nice. From the lunges to the tuck ups. Nice, Jen. Same. So, so legs straight and then, yeah, tuck up knee into chest. I can't get my body right off the ground. That's okay. Uh, try, I'd rather your body come off the ground than your knees come up. So switch it to a full sit up. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Nice. And then lateral hops. Yeah, perfect.
Nice, guys. I muted you, so if you want to turn on music, you can. We're four minutes in. We're going 16 minutes total. Keep it up, guys. You got it. Five minutes in. Okay, less squat, more hinge, David. Yes. Okay, guys, find a pace that you're comfortable and stay in it. Halfway, guys, keep moving.
Nice, David. You got it, Jen, keep it up. You got it, David. Nice, Jen. Two and a half minutes, guys. Keep it up. Home stretch.
Nice work. We got one minute left. Almost there. Twenty seconds, guys. Keep moving. Couple more reps. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one. Time. All right. While you're still on the ground, let's hit a stretch quick and then I'll send you free and continue your day. All right, lay down on your back, guys. Don't get up yet, lay down. We're gonna fix your hamstrings. Laying down on your back, you're gonna bend one knee out, foot so your foot's flat on the ground, other foot, leg straight up to the ceiling. You're gonna push your heel towards the ceiling, pull your toe towards your face. Then you're gonna interlace your fingers behind that hamstring and just add a little bit of pressure, not much pulling it towards you. And you're just gonna hold here. Don't yank it, just add a little bit of pressure and you should feel that hamstring. Hold it here. Yeah, guys, switch legs, other side, leg goes straight up, push your heel to the ceiling, toes towards you, add that little bit of pressure with the hands. Good. You're going to go both knees up to the ceiling, feet flat on the ground. If you do not have a dog in the way, you're going to drop both knees to one side and then up to the middle and then back over to the other side, just back and forth to help open up that back again. All right, done and done team. Nice work. Good little sweat. Oh, I muted you, Jen, hold on. I think I muted both of you. <laughs> oh, who's, who are you got there? This is the official house assistant coach, Bosley. 90% oh of the time, he lays right on the side of me. What kind of dog is Bosley, other than beautiful? Uh, he is a medium-sized Bernadoodle. <gasps> so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Jens has a larger-sized... Child. Male child from the Burmese, <laughs> from the Burmese area. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. He's getting ready to log back on. <laughs> yeah, lunch break's over. That's it. I don't even get to eat. I have to work out. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi. Oh, man. Hi. <laughs> That's okay. it. Lunch is over. Thank you so much, Shelby. No problem. Good seeing you, Jen. Okay, I see you. You are at what you do, but you really are good at what you do. <laughs> Oh, agreed. Good. Agreed. <laughs> nice work, guys. Have a great day. See ya.